Sammy, it was a lot of fun to be uh, back coaching you this past Sunday. It's been a few years. Great to have you and your cousins all back together with me. Um, here is one of your GS runs. Good scan, nice run. Um, like everyone else, um, you know, your first run, not so good over coaches. No, didn't really inspect too well. Brought no shape back late, and you blew out. So uh, the good thing about training is we get a second shot. Um, not so much on race day, but you know, a little blurry because it's only my phone, but looks like some pretty nice angles out there, right, up there feet off from underneath it. And that was one of the things we were trying to work on, getting those feet a little further out from from beneath you. And one of the reasons, you know, you, you can't or you don't do it all the time is because you, you kind of crowd the gate once in a while. You get your feet too close to the gate. You're trying to get close to the gate, but you got to give your feet room. We need some horizontal space at the gate. Uh, you got to give your feet room to allow for a strong angulated position and getting the feet out from underneath us. Good looking turn. That looks like the little surface might have been a little chunky. Again, pretty tight with the feet right in there. So couldn't really get the angles, couldn't get the turn going. A lot of it ended up being below the gate. I think same there, hard to see exactly, but I don't know. I, I looks like your feet are pretty close together. I'm not, I'm not close together, but close to the gate. Now here, you know, when it straightens out, yeah, we, we, we can have them close to the gate. We don't need those big angles. So whenever it's really offset, and of course steep, we got to make sure that we are giving our feet some room. Came in here pretty, you know, Good high line. I won't, maybe it could almost be too much, but start turning a hair early, right? I mean, if you were really going to arc the turn from there and pressure the outside ski, you probably would crash into the panel. So you had to kind of lay off it, lay off it, and get by the gate a little bit. And now we're going to pressure. So kind of late pressure right here. So we should have just been a little more patient. Get out to rise line, that imaginary line drawn up, you know, from from the gate and we like to have it more over here but um get yourself out to that before starting that turn we want to intersect rise line with our skis pointing out and away from the pole to allow you know turn shape back so again if the rise line's here you know you want to intersect it with your skis pointing out that way well Kind of. Let's try that again, Sammy. With your skis pointing out this way, away from the pole, to allow turn shape back. And you had them. You're intersecting with them. Close to going down the hill, so you're going to be working below the gate a lot more. The other thing we talked about this day was, um, you know, on your heels a bunch. And you can see through here, I mean, really, belly of the turn, and you're, you're on your heels. I mean, there's no ankle flexion. Hands, you know, at your sides. Um, we got to maintain ankle flexion. We got to pull both those feet back, be in the front of the boot more. This is the turn that, uh, you know, your first run... Uh, Brought no shape back and blew out right below here, but he made a nice a nice adjustment. You 
know, one thing you're, you're skiing is the way you put your skis up on edge is very much just using hip. And I think you should try to be using more ankles and knees and then moving the hip to the inside. You tend to all of a sudden just drop the hip in and back. And that kind of, you can see, puts you on your heels right there. So ankles and knees first. We've got to edge from the snow up. But some good skiing. As I said, nice job this year in your high school racing. I think it's a freshman going on to Easterns. Came in, uh, you know, I think, fifth overall in the, in the state. And I think you might have just been making sure you finished. DNF would have hurt you there. So I think, uh, you know, but any event, good skiing here. Let's think about using ankles and knees first and then move the hip to the inside. Let's pull those feet back. Let's get better ankle flexion being in the front of the boot throughout the uh, that entire turn. Um, and in courses, you know, give yourself a little, when it's steep and offset, give your feet a little more room to allow for a nice, angulated position don't crowd the gate there and be patient get yourself uh, when it's offset and steep make sure you get yourself out to rise line or even sometimes past rise line with intersect with our skis pointing out and away so we bring turn shape back and have more of the turn done above the gate but a lot of fun this day good skiing and good luck in easterns